Hey, this is Andrew, and I just wanted to do a little demonstration of a little feature I put together this morning that I figure might become quite useful in the future. So what it is, is that very often when we're investigating an outage, the first thing we'll do is we'll come and we'll take, it a, take a look at a dashboard like this. This is the um, web service dashboard, and so it gives us all of our key indicators for that service. And then it goes down into various components like unicorn and workhorse. And then if we want even more detail, we have uh, these dashboards over here, or these panels over here. Uh, now, very often, one of the things that we want to do is after we spot a problem, we want to go from the uh, Grafana, where we have our metrics, into Kibana, where we keep our logs. And normally what we do is we open up Kibana, we change the index, we will then configure a search and we'll start from there and that can be quite slow. So this demo kind of is a way to kind of speed that up. It uses a feature in Grafana called data links and what a data link allows you to do is add uh, things into your dashboards, into your panels so that you can have links to other URLs. And so with that, what I've done is because we're using JSON it to generate our dashboards, I've got JSON it to generate, dynamically generate links into Kibana that are kind of pre-canned for what the panel is. So uh, this graph over here is a workhorse P50. Um, and so you can click on the graph and it'll say Elasticsearch uh, and give me the workhorse logs. And if I click on that, it'll open up an Elasticsearch URL, which should hopefully work. And if it comes back here, you can see this is the workhorse logs. It's got like some pre-canned columns that we might find useful um, and various other things. And then from here, we can carry on searching. So we might want to filter out all 200. Um, and so that just kind of speeds up the, uh, the, the cycle time, trying to reduce the amount of time that it takes to uh, resolve an issue. Um, we've also got a second option, which is if you click on the graph and you choose uh, visualization, this will take you automatically to a line graph of, um, of the same data that you were looking at in Grafana. So let's see if this works. Yeah, looks like it will. Yeah. Now, what's really cool about this, well, I think it's really cool, is if I go up here and I say, I don't want to look at the main stage, I want to look at the canary stage. Um, we should get back some different data. Now, this graph is obviously different. If I click on this and I say, give me the uh, logs. So what you'll see here is that now we're filtering for the canary stage and not the main stage anymore. So we can add any number of arbitrary filters into these searches and and as we expand this out i'm sure we will have lots of uh, searches that kind of target very specific conditions like we might filter by request class in this in this instance uh, just to kind of show some more examples of this if we go to some of our rails graphs and i go into here and i add search to our rails logs this should take us to a different elastic search index in kibana Yeah, and it's this is searching on the Rails uh, logs. And here you can see we've got a very slightly different set of columns that we've chosen for this uh, dashboard. And so what I'd like to do is kind of expand this out over time, but this is a, a first iteration of that. Um, I hope you find it as useful as I'm hoping I will. Cool, thanks very much.